Hi, I'm David Soper, Technical Marketing Engineer supporting Cisco Intersight. And today I'll be going through an overview of the Cisco Intersight service for HashiCorp Terraform. So one of the requirements for running the Terraform service is a Terraform Cloud for Business account. And I'll start out with a look at that on the official Terraform pages and a lot more information here on Terraform Cloud for Business. One of the overviews is managing a private environment and on-premises infrastructure. Part of that is done with running Terraform Cloud agents on-premises. So things like hooking into a vSphere environment or Cisco equipment on-premises requires those Terraform Cloud agents. Those reach out from your on-premises environment to Terraform Cloud. And then you've got a typical Terraform Cloud operating environment where you can interact with version control systems such as GitHub. Now we'll take a look in Terraform Cloud at how we normally manage agents and then also how we'll have Intersight interact with Terraform Cloud. So I'm in a organization within Terraform Cloud and on the settings page I've got a variety of settings for this organization how users are going to be set up for it. One of these is the agents menu and I see that right now I've got a Mac agents pool. Uh, this is running on my Mac, so some drawbacks there in actually keeping that running, having other users interact with it. And this is where Intersight's going to step in to really simplify how these agents operate. And our Intersight Assist Appliance will actually run these, keep them running, keep them up to date with Terraform Cloud. While I'm out here, I'm going to set up what I'll need for Intersight to interact with Terraform. And this is an API token. So we'll want to use a user token in a little more detail here on the differences and why user tokens are typically recommended. In the user settings page, I can come in and I can create an API token, give it a description. This will then show me that token. I've actually just done this um, a little bit back, so I'm going to use an existing token as I go into Intersight and actually claim a Terraform Cloud API endpoint. So within Intersight, if I open the left menu and go down to admin targets, then I can claim a target. I've got the ability to search for endpoints and I'll pick out Terraform Cloud. So this is a Terraform Cloud endpoint. I'm going to use an API token to interact with it. The name is user defined, but I'm going to kind of match up the names with my Terraform organization and then the user I'm using for that token. The API token that I've created I'll put in there and then I'll also pick a default organization on the Terraform cloud side that Intersight will interact with and that was that Cisco Intersight TME organization shown in Terraform cloud. I can initiate a claim at this point and Intersight will bring that Terraform Cloud API endpoint into the view of Intersight and now I can really manage everything from Intersight. My Terraform Cloud endpoint is claimed and from there I can come and claim a Terraform agent. This again will be where on my Intersight Assist appliance, which is there, that will actually run the agents. So I can again do a user defined name of the agent in this case, I'm running in a technical marketing engineer lab. The organization in use was that default organization for my Terraform Cloud account. And then the pool name, I can again pick an arbitrary name, user defined name. And I'll use that Intersight Terraform service to identify those. The hosts that I'm managing is shown here can be by host name, IP address, or I'll actually do ranges here of some of the lab equipment I have under management. Typical format with a range and then subnet mask. And once I have that information entered, I can now claim these agents. Now with agents configured, I can go back to this Terraform Cloud endpoint and I can launch Terraform Cloud.
And this will go into that default organization. And a quick look at the agents I have running here. So I've got that Mac agent that's actually not on. What Terraform has configured is my agents running on assist, part of an agent pool that's running, and we can see that those are usable at this point. So if I go back in to workspaces, um, I can take a look at actually running these from Terraform Cloud. And as shown here, I'm using a workspace. This is coming from a GitHub repo of the same name. The agent pool that I want to run here, I will use that ITS agent pool. So this is Intersight Assist actually running the agents and communicating back with Terraform Cloud for my on-premises equipment. Uh, a few other settings from where I'm actually running this within that GitHub repo. And then all the normal setup of Terraform Cloud. So any variables I want to run here, I can define as needed. This is where I'm actually going to interact with vSphere in this example and deploy an OVF. And then I've got to run, uh, I've got several errors there, but I can go run this again based on current state. And Terraform Cloud will take over at this point based on what I've got in my GitHub repo and run with the variables I've defined using those agents within Intersight. For more information, please visit intersight.com help.